In previous episode, I shared with you my most favorite trend indicator, which we use in uh, quite a few strategies in our hedge fund. Today, I'm going to share with you my second most favorite trend indicator ever. And again, I'm going to share with you a trick, how we use it in our hedge fund a little bit differently. I believe this trick uh, is part of our success with this indicator. And again, I'm going to share with you this model strategy on E-mini S&P. It trades both long and short, as you can see, long trades, short trades, uh, the profitability, uh, the win percentage is almost 60% profitable and average trade it's 252 trades, uh, $252. So very, very powerful model, model strategy, which you can code into uh, any platform. Uh, as And as you can see, it uh, can be optimized for NASDAQ as well. This, uh, this one is without any optimization. It's been si slightly optimized for the uh, ES. It has not been optimized at all for uh, e mini NASDAQ, but you definitely can optimize this strategy for other markets, uh, especially indexes as well. Uh, so uh, my second most uh, favorite indicator is DMI, uh, Directional Movement Index. And the way we deploy it in our hedge fund is a little bit different than it's normally known. I'm going to share this with you uh, in the code. Uh, this code is for studying purposes only. Uh, so for you just to know, uh, it, it's been applied on uh, ES full trading hours. That means uh, 24 hour sessions, time frame 30 minutes. The strategy has been uh, built according to the breakout model described in the book breakouttradingrevolution.com. We have built almost 2,500 strategies based on this model. Uh, and uh, this episode is pre-recorded in February 2024, just in case you uh, wonder why there is not uh, the actual date you're watching uh, this video included in the Bechtes uh, report. Uh, this is coded in TradeStation Easy Language. If you will not understand certain conditions, you can Google it. All the syntaxes here uh, in this code can be simply Googled for a uh, better explanation of what they uh, mean. Okay, so let's get to the code. Uh, so as I said, we use the breakouttradingrevolution.com uh, model uh, and uh, the base of the model is uh, basically establishing uh, breakout levels for the long and short. Uh, in this case, we uh, will use open of the last known bar and we will add or exclude uh, three times volatility. The volatility in this case is calculated as the difference between open and low of the last closed bars is the same uh, principle we used in the uh, previous video. Uh, please, if you want to understand this more, watch also the previous video where I share my uh, first most favorite uh, trend indicator and I also explained this a little bit more. Uh, now let's get to the condition with the DMI. So with DMI, we usually use longer periods like 100. And the trick we use, we shift DMI by a few bars. So we do not calculate DMI on the last known bar, but we shift it uh, some reasonable number like last 20 bars. And we just go 20 bars back and then we look for specific threshold, which in this case is 35. So that's the trick. That's the uh, different way we use it in our uh, hedge fund. And uh, uh, we use, again, we do not use it symmetrically. I explained this in the previous video when I was talking about ADX, how our research proven that asymmetrical use of trend indicators uh, leads to better results when it comes to trading indexes. One of the reasons is because indexes in general are asymmetrical markets. So we use asymmetry here as well. Uh, so that's the trick. Uh, you need to shift it by 20 bars back and then you use a threshold which you of course can optimize and it can be a little bit different for each market. Uh, in this code, we are using 35. Now we always want to enter only between regular trading hours, which uh, 
which is pretty much between 8 a.m. and 3 p.m. market time uh, because that's where we have most uh, liquidity. Uh, so that's what, what we always use entry time condition. And then the rest is really, really simple. Once these conditions are met, you establish actual entry uh, position long or short. We always use uh, stop orders for breakout trading. We use stop orders. Again, everything is pretty well described in the uh, breakouttradingrevolution.com book. And then we exit even on Friday. We always exit on Friday. Or uh, in many cases in our hedge fund, we simply uh, exit. Uh, we, we simply use since entry exit. Uh, so in this case, uh, again, you might need to optimize this little bit, but uh, we exit 100 bars since entry. That's one of the uh, exits we use quite often in our hedge fund, which works really, really well. By the way, if you want a real trading strategy from our hedge fund, click the link below and download it completely for free. You can learn a ton of things from that strategy. Uh, and that's really it. You can also apply a stop loss. That depends on the market. So you need to do your own analysis. And of course, as always, with these model strategies I share on this show, you need to uh, perform uh, your own robustness trading tests. Uh, so don't forget to also um, download the free hedge fund strategy. And if you like this, if you like uh, uh, my tips and you want to get more or even more strategies, then give us a thumb up and definitely subscribe if we see uh, growing subscribers. Descriptions. We know that you would like to get more strategies and more uh, tips like this one. And uh, in that case, I will share more with you in the future.